Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm kind of having a play with a photo that I took in Dublin, Ireland. Lovely city, home of Guinness. Uh, I would just love to go back, to be honest. It's beautiful there. But uh, here's the photo. Let me just show you. I believe it's called Grafton Street, but it's been a number of years. I can't really remember. Regardless, it's something I shoot a lot of, which is like edges of the day, streets in Europe, when I'm there, of course. Um, I just like those kind of scenes. There's something about these kind of scenes that appeal to me. It's just something I like to shoot. So I take a lot of photos like this, and sometimes, uh, as you may know, I just like to kind of overhaul things, create a little bit different look to a photo, something that, hey, maybe I didn't see it, and you know what, I really don't care. I'm just kind of having fun. I enjoy the creative process. I enjoy playing around with software. I enjoy editing my photos. I'm making a video about it. Um, so here we go. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is get into Composition AI, and I wanna start by cropping this uh, this thing and I'm gonna make that a 16 by 9 and uh, Let's see straighten it a little bit something about like that while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and hit that verticals and straighten those up and you know what kind of did a great job I'm not sure if the photos straight I think I'm gonna lift it a little bit like that hit enter and I basically got my canvas ready to go quick easy powerful I love composition AI now the sky is very boring so I'm gonna take care of that next and this is using sky AI I'm gonna go in here and sky selection. I actually have a sky from a sky pack that was sold in the Luminar Marketplace. I don't know if it's still there, but this is Santa Rosa Sunset. I believe it's a California Skies collection or something like that, I don't recall. But I like the look of that one. However, what I wanna do is flip it. So I'm gonna flip that around and that's for, well, one reason really, the primary reason, and that is there's a lot more blue on that left-hand side. And as you probably know, in the new update, uh, update two to Luminar AI, they have the new reflections. Um, which reflects in water. It does not reflect in windows. So if you look over here and you're looking at these windows, it doesn't reflect there automatically. My hope, my prayer, whatever, is that in the future they'll reflect in other surfaces like uh, windows, but it doesn't today. But I wanted to point out something. Let me zoom in. If you look at this window right here, it actually did pick up some of the reflection, which I thought was kind of interesting. Let me turn this off. There it is, you can see just blue and you know blue and blue. Now the ones over here on the right are more blue. Let me pull it down like that. But this one over here, it actually picks up a little bit of that cloud and that reflection, which I think is pretty cool. So my hope is in the future that all windows, whoops, uh, will pick up the reflections, but they don't by default today. It did apparently in this one by you know accident. I don't know, but one of the reasons I flipped that sky is there's more blue over there. And because that window is still blue, I wanted it to kind of look like it's reflecting this guy that's across from it, which seems logical. I'm sure somebody watching this will tell me that I'm wrong about it. And I don't mean that rudely. I often have people say, oh, but what about this or that? Um, and you know what? You guys have good points. That's what I like about this channel and creating videos. You guys point things out that I never notice or think about, and I learn from you guys a lot. So thanks for that. I appreciate it. But I wanted to point that one out in advance that I realized the reflection doesn't mirror the sky. Again, I don't really care. I'm having fun. I'm just creating something. But I did think about that, which is why I chose this sky with blue on that side. And um, that's why I, well, I flipped it to get the blue on that side. So anyway, that's enough yapping about the sky. That's really all I'm doing. I put it in and I flipped it. I'm going to go up here now to enhance AI. And I'm going to do about a 50, you know, one, 52, something like that. I love Accent AI. It's just Frankly, it's fantastic. It is just a great, great tool. Uh, next up, I'm gonna take the temperature down and I'm gonna do something about like that. And I'm gonna leave the tint where it is. Smart contrast is going to the high 20s and highlights are coming down to the negative, uh, you know, like early 40s, something like that. So again, all I'm doing here is just kind of massaging the photo, trying to get it to look like I think it should look based on the sky that I have and just time of day, to be honest. I mean, it was sunset-y. If you look at the original, there it is. You can see it's basically sunset. So, um, you know, the street lights are coming on. My favorite time to shoot. I just love that in cities. It's so just beautiful. Anyway, um, street lights are coming on. It's still a little bit bright in the sky, but I'm trying to balance that light out. I want the tones and stuff to match, which is why I dropped the temperature here. The tint was already at negative four. I think that's a good fit. So 
honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to move on. Next up is structure, and I'm going to give that, you know, a little bit of a bump as well because I want to get a little bit of structure in that city street, and I think maybe something like that, like maybe around 40 is, is plenty. Gives it a nice little bump of kind of crispiness without really being over the top. And notice, um, if you will, there it is before, and then when I add Structure AI, it does create that crunchiness, but it also brightens it a little bit, and so sometimes that helps with these kind of photos. It'll give it a little bit of kick of brightness, and so if I know I'm using Structure AI on a scene like this where it's kind of darker, you know, edges of the day kind of light, I do often um, not brighten those areas as much as I would because I know, uh, I know that I'm using Structure AI. So just FYI, Golden Hours next. This is going to be like a low 30s. Um, notice what that does. When I turn that off, uh, all the warmer lights, like in the store, like on that left-hand side and on that right-hand side, they're a little bit flatter, but they really pop now. And also, like right over here, let me zoom in there a little bit more. So over here, this light that's coming out of there and shining off of that light that's uh, that street light, it really starts to pop a little bit more. Let me show you that. So let me turn it off. There it is before. You can see the lights reflected on those uh, paving stones, but now it's really kind of popping a little bit more. I like that, and Golden Hour works really well. Um, I mean, it's great for a sunset and bringing up that warm, beautiful light, but it's also great for store lights and things like that where you want them to pop a little bit, and also reflections that are warm like that will pop some more as well. So I use Golden Hour on a lot of photos, just frankly, because I think it's a great, great slider. It works really well on a lot of different things. Um, and last up is vignette. This is a quick video. This is not a complicated, you know, involved, multi-dimensional uh, kind of adjustment. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to get the size about the way I want it. I do want to choose a subject. I want to place that down here a little bit. And I want to give it some inner light because I want to pop a little bit more of that light. And I think about like that looks good. And that also kind of, for me, like if I turn this, uh, I can click choose subject to turn that off. Let me turn off the vignette filter. There it is before. It's just darker in the center, and I really want to brighten it up because I'm trying to drive your eye. I mean, I stood in the middle of the street, you know, compositional rule break number one or 53 on this photo, whatever it is. Um, in other words, I don't always follow the, the rules. But regardless, you know, I stood basically in the center here and kind of shot down the middle because I liked it. And, um, you know, it was a little bit darker there. And now when I add that, I think it looks a little bit better. But I now think the vignette's a little too heavy-handed. So I'm going to pull the vignette back a little bit because I don't want the sky to get too dark. But I definitely wanted to brighten that inner light. So I think that looks a little bit better. Sometimes I make these adjustments on the fly as I am editing the photo in the video differently, uh, perhaps, than when I did it, uh, you know, prepping for the video. So anyway, there it is before the vignette, and there it is after. Nice little pop of light. I think it also lines up with the way you can see that brighter light uh, in the new sky that's kind of in that bottom half of that new sky, and it just kind of fits, right? And so brightening up that center, it feels like that brighter section of sky would kind of be adding some uh, some brightness there. And that is, uh, let me check my nose to make sure, but yeah, that is my whole edit. So let me show you the before and after. There it is before. Honestly, I passed over this photo so many times. I mean, I took it years ago. I don't even remember when, but I just passed it up time and time again, even though I like these photos, you know, this style of photo so much because I was like, yeah, it's kind of boring. And you know, hey, it's not an amazing shot. It's a shot of a street. It's not the most exciting thing, but I think I was able to bring it to life. All the light adjustments that I did with the various tools and color pop, and of course, the new sky helps as well. But I think if you compare the original and the final state, I've definitely got a more vibrant photo. May not be to your liking, totally cool. You don't have to like what I do. I don't expect everyone to, but I definitely made an improvement. I popped the colors. I created a little bit more mood in the photo, and I think the new sky helps. And I think the colors in the new sky kind of go with the cobblestones and all that and I'm aware of what I talked about in the reflections in the window. I tried to accommodate that. You know, it's not, it's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. I don't really care. I had fun doing it, and that was really what this one is about. So, hope you have fun editing, my friends. You know, just try some stuff. Experiment. Have fun. Learn new things. That's what I'm always trying to do here in Luminar and trying to push myself to do something different. This is not really necessarily different than what I've done in the past, but it's a fun creative exercise nonetheless. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you really soon, my friends. I'll be back with more videos. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing and adios.